So now, now we need, now we need what? Now we need somebody to help change a light bulb because, you know, you can't have church without lights being on. So you need some maintenance folks that know how to paint and how to repair stuff because you keep things flowing and going because you can't do it without maintenance. So we need some folks that maintenance right here because, wow, it's power, man, because somebody's going to plant. Somebody's going to water up here, but we know God is going to give some increase. Right? So now we need what? Now we need what? Now we need now he's somebody now he's somebody that can can work in a bookstore and, and, and sell some CDs and get some book sounds, some information out that helps people grow in knowledge and understanding and gets the word out and spreads the word everywhere. Because you can't you can't spread the word to all the world by yourself. So so he said, make disciples of all nations. So now you got that. Now you need some folks that's been on drugs and just a little crazy in the head, but they got delivered. Celebrate recovery. Now you got to celebrate recovery. I I done recovered. I done came out. Hang on now. I'm almost through. And now now we need, now we need, now we need, now we need, I I got camera. Now we need, I got CDs. Now we need to be healthy. Because we can't preach the gospel all the world if we die too young. All right, so we got to get ourselves healthy, health and wellness. So now we're connecting to something, connecting to something bigger than it started all over here on a bus. I talked to a woman the other day, y'all, right? We need to change this meeting up anyway. I'm just going to keep going. So, so this woman, I seen her at credit union. She came up to me. She said, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. And I didn't know who she was. You know, and she said, I just moved from Chicago. And she said, I was at y'all's church Sunday. I just love New Hope. She said, I'm going to be there next Sunday. She said, I'm, I'm riding the bus. Yeah. From Chicago, riding the bus. Because see what happens when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're in a place in life where, where you need to be lifted up. You get, you get in partnership. Isn't that right, Daniel Rios? Get in partnership. Because he rode a bus. Now he's the youth pastor. Tell me God ain't got no sense of humor. That's part, that's power of partnership. So now, now, now we, we got on the bus. We came to the parking lot. Somebody greeted me. Dropped my baby off. Got my child in there. Heard some joyful noise. Saw it on TV. Heard it's good sound quality, didn't hurt my ears, it was good stuff. And and us and somebody helped me down and sit down in my seat. And somebody got crazy, but we settled him down. And and we need youth and we need to help our young generation come on. And, and I needed a meal because I got down on my luck one time and I had surgery and had sickness or whatever and helped me come fed my family and I put my tithe and I knew they weren't stealing my money at the church. And then the plumbing didn't work. Couldn't flush the commode. Had it. And then when I needed to get some information in my life, I had to buy a CD and get a book. And then, I, then I came out. I came out of addiction. I came out of hurt. Came out all of some hangups. And then I got healthy. Come on. Then I got my children involved in, in, in Kingdom Impact because they weren't doing nothing. I got them involved in cheerleading, dance, hip-hop dance, karate, AAU basketball. I got them involved in outreach. Hey, you, come on, you can represent Kingdom Impact. Then I got involved in outreach. Then I got involved in outreach. Street team. All right, and then, 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 because we got the power of partnership going right here. Then I was a business leader and found a ministry that helped encourage me and train me. Entrepreneur. Get up there, bro. Entrepreneur. I'm about to go soprano on y'all. Come on. <laughs> then I got qualified to own a business. And then, 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 then. Then I had to buy a house. I had to buy a house. I had to buy a house. He said, he'd sell me a house. I had to buy a house. 
But then I found out I was a single mom and it's hard raising my children by myself and I need some encouragement and some fellowship with somebody. So I had to get me. Why? Because it all started over here on the bus. You crazy for that? I'm going to go back there again. So, so it starts what? It's vision. It's power. It's partnership. It's a common goal. It is, it's common interest. It's a common interest. It's a common interest. Now, I might not do the same thing, but I'm planting a seed. I'm watering somewhere. But we know God. We know God is going to give the increase. There's going to be multiplication. There's going to be influence. There's going to be effect.